This video is part of a series focused on helping viewers gain a better understanding of the basic doctrines and major themes of the Bible. Be sure to see the previous two lessons in this series where we were looking at several verses from Psalm 119, which is the longest chapter in the Bible. Almost every verse in the chapter says something about the excellence of the Word of God. I'm David Herzman of Eagles Wings Ministries, and right now I want to share with you some observations regarding things that people are saying about God's Word and why it is so important for you to read it yourself, seek the knowledge and understanding and wisdom from it. It is our source of understanding for salvation, for our walk with the Lord, and for our influence to others. The Apostle Paul wrote to Timothy, study or be careful, be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a workman who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That phrase, rightly dividing, is sometimes translated accurately handling or skillfully teaching from 2 Timothy 3.15. Jesus himself, during his earthly ministry, warned us that one of the key identifying elements of the last days would be religious deception. Do you think that's happening? After the Supreme Court reversal of Roe v. Wade ruling, it was um, really very, not really very surprising that thousands of radical left-wing extremists were very angry and became very vocal in their condemnation of that recent court decision. But what was kind of surprising to me was the number of these pro-abortion activists who were actually attempting to use Scripture, use the Bible, to support their views. And they seem to be trying to set themselves forth as good Christians who are experts on the interpretation of Scripture, although they are very intolerant of anyone who actually has a biblical worldview or who defends the sanctity of life. Hopefully, these lessons can help honest seekers to learn to rightly divide or accurately handle the word of truth. One thing these self-appointed experts were saying is that the Bible doesn't say anything about abortion. The truth is that although the Bible doesn't use the word abortion, it definitely does say a lot about the sanctity of human life, including the fact that God knows us, cares for us, forms us, and has a plan for our lives while we are still in our mother's womb. Another thing they are saying is that since there is no consensus on uh, when life begins, a baby isn't really alive until he or she is born and some, or sometime afterwards. The Bible makes it clear that babies are normally alive before they are born and that they may die before they are born, resulting in a miscarriage or a stillborn child. No consensus. Do you want to know the truth, or would an agreement on a falsehood be just as acceptable? There is not a consensus on whether or not the world is round or flat. So since there is no consensus, can we choose either way to be right, to be true and acceptable? It's not a consensus that makes something true or false. God's Word is forever settled in heaven. Another thing one woman claimed was that Jesus didn't go around telling everybody what to believe. That's almost so absurd that it would be funny if it wasn't so tragic and so deadly. I've heard and read posts from people who do not even believe the Bible is God's Word at all. May not even believe there is a God. Especially not a personal salvation or a transformed life and yet they are quick to condemn sincere believers by their misinterpretation of Scripture, using little phrases out of context, and totally neglected what Jesus referred to as the weightier matters of the law. Others may be true believers, but they don't personally know much about the Word. So they often quote what somebody else has said about various topics of the Bible. 
So consequently, many professed believers are quoting and uh, perpetuating false ideas and even a satanic worldview. Many on social media, many of the users are very combative, forceful, and argumentative. But that doesn't make them experts on the Bible, nor of the knowledge, understanding, and wisdom that they should be seeking from it themselves. We'll terminate this lesson right here. And uh, it's part one of some lessons on rightly dividing the word of truth. So in a few days, we'll be uh, picking up where we left off here today with some more examples of uh, things that people are saying about the Bible that aren't really in the Bible. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Have a very blessed day in the Lord.